Hi, my name is Dr. Edward Duran, and I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about uh, tubal reanastomosis, or what's commonly called tubal reversal. So about 1% of women that end up having a tubal ligation uh, will end up having it reversed uh, at some point in their reproductive life. And what we often see is that patients either want to expand their family or they may have moved on to a different relationship and they want to have children with a new partner. Tubal ligations are done in multiple ways. Uh, the most common way is to have the tube either burned or tied after delivery. And that can be done either laparoscopically or with a small incision under the belly button the day after surgery or what we call a postpartum tubal ligation. It's a very effective form of birth control and that's why these patients are not able to get pregnant. In the past, what we've done is we've done open surgery with an incision similar to a C-section-like incision where we are placing a surgical microscope over the incision where we're able to do microsurgery to remove any uh, burned or scarred tissue, um, any metal clips that may have been used to uh, block the fallopian tubes and reconnect the fallopian tubes in two layers using very fine suture material that's half the diameter of human hair. With the advent of robotic minimally invasive surgery in gynecology in 2006, what we're able to do is now do even better visualization with more precise surgery robotically. What this means for the patient is that a surgery that may have taken three to four hours in the past with an open incision and a six-week recovery is now performed in two hours on an outpatient basis where the patient goes home the same day, recovers usually within five to seven days, and can pursue pregnancy with the next menstrual cycle. The other advantage of doing the reanastomosis or reconnecting the fallopian tubes robotically is that there's more precise hemostasis. The patients have less bleeding because you're not cutting into the abdomen. Patients also have less risk of scar tissue formation because you're operating in a closed humidified environment. You're still using the same fine suture material, but because with the robotic platform, we have high definition 1080p um, visualization that's magnified. So instead of using a bedside surgical microscope, it's actually provided to us with the robotic platform with a 3D high definition uh, magnified image. So we actually can do the surgery in half the time with better outcomes. And that's why uh, many more patients are now choosing this route um, to the alternative of doing IVF because they now have a less expensive option that continues to provide month after month a new opportunity for patients to conceive. Um, this is something that I do frequently. I've done 30 robotic tubal reanastomoses in the last year, and 80% of those patients have gotten pregnant within 12 months. So the outcomes are great, especially for patients that are considering having more than one child, um, or patients that have diminished ovarian reserve and they don't want to just have one shot at IVF. They'd like to continue to try every month a new opportunity without having to invest more in, in their treatment.